my 7 a.m. college morning routine as a 21-year-old pharmacy student. Now, although my alarm is set for 7, I tend to wake up a little bit earlier than that, around 6.45 because of my biological clock. I then put on my glasses because I'm blind without them, and I'll take a few moments to just look out my apartment window and just appreciate a new day. I then go for my mason jar, which has some water, and rehydrate because after eight hours, my mouth is very, very dry. I'll then continue to look out at the pale blue morning sky as I recite positive affirmations. I'll then reach for my laptop to get my meditation started. Now I use Headspace, which is a meditation app, and the reason I use it on my laptop rather than my phone is so that I don't have the temptation of going on social media first thing in the morning. So here I am just getting it started. I use the early morning meditation, which is 10 minutes long, and meditating in the morning has been so great for my mental health. I tend to wake up really stressed thinking about all the stuff I have to do that day, but doing a quick meditation just allows me to quiet my mind and remember that I should take one day at a time. I tend to get some questions about my teeth and how I keep them so white. I use the Crest 3D White Charcoal Toothpaste. That's just what I've been using for quite some time now and it seems to be doing really well. Fun fact, I also use the softest bristles on my toothbrush made available because I have really sensitive gums and especially when using manual toothbrushes, they tend to make my gums bleed. So having this sensitive bristle with a low speed electronic toothbrush avoids any bloody mouths. Notice how when I wash my face, the handle is in the middle. It's not turned to extremely cold. I don't know how people do that. I like my room temperature water. After patting my face dry, it's time for skincare. I use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. Now this is a light moisturizer that's great for combination skin. I then move on to sunscreen, the La Roche-Posay and Helio sunscreen. It is light, not thick, it's not greasy, and it doesn't have that strange tropical smell that sunscreens tend to have. I then put this all over my face because protection from the sun is so important. If you want to feel like a champion, make your bed. I promise you this simple yet satisfying task will just give you that boost of productivity. And once you make your bed, you won't be tempted to lie back in it. I want to thank you all again for 10,000 subscribers and I said that I was going to do a 10k video special so here's that announcement. For next week's video I'm going to be doing a Q&A where you can ask me anything you'd like. Because we are a family I want you to get to know me better so you can ask about myself, school, advice, anything. Go over to my Instagram and there will be a question box in my stories slash highlights and feel free to follow me while you're there. I have a barn door in my room so I thought it'd be fun to use it for an outfit change. I always change into presentable clothing even if I'm not leaving the apartment so that I can get into the working mood. Good morning friends, it's Nathan, a first year pharmacy student at the University of Waterloo. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel. So what you saw was the beginning of my morning routine. I woke up at 7am. Now I know 7am is not like a crazy time to wake up but it's realistic, and I don't know if everyone waking up at 5 a.m. is really doing that every day. Just saying. Just saying. I meditated, I freshened up, I got dressed. It's 8 a.m. and I am starving, but before I make breakfast, I need to make my morning drink. Now, my morning drink is very important to me because, one, I like to sip things throughout the day, and then two, it helps me get more fluid into my body. So we are going to make my morning drink now. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Tiangle. Now Tiangle is a company that specializes in traditional and non-traditional matcha. Now, if you don't know what matcha is, it is similar to green tea. However, instead of infusing the leaves, the leaves are finely powdered and therefore you're getting way more health benefits. I've been drinking matcha for years now and it's literally the best thing when you're working, when you're studying. And I say it's the perfect drink for students because matcha has known to improve focus to relieve stress and anxiety, to give you an energy boost. It even promotes fat loss and reduces bloating, which is really incredible for a drink. Tiango has a lot of unique matchas like peppermint, chai, which combines two amazing drinks into one, ginger and lemongrass, and of course, traditional ceremonial, which I'll be using to make my iced matcha latte today. 
Kiangle makes both high quality bottles and tumblers. Bottles are great for on the go, but because I'm staying at home today, I'm gonna use their cute tumbler, which says matcha waiting for. I start by adding some hot water. Then I'm gonna take one to two scoops of matcha powder. And because their powders are so high quality and concentrated, you don't need that much. I then add half a tablespoon of brown sugar for sweetness. The ceremonial comes unsweetened, but the others like ginger, peppermint, and chai are already pre-sweetened. Then we're just gonna give it a shake, shake, shake. We're now gonna add some ice. Now I like my drinks really cold, so I'll be adding the whole tray. Now here's my ratio, 25 matcha, 25 ice, 25 water, and then your final 25 is your dairy. I'm choosing soy milk for my latte. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. Then another shake, shake, shake. And there you go, your iced matcha latte. Cheers. That is so good. If you're a matcha lover like me or you're interested in trying it for the first time, I highly recommend you checking out Tea Angle. And because healthy habits don't need to be expensive, you can use my code NathanRoo15 for 15% off. Enjoy your matcha and let's continue on with the morning. It's time to make breakfast. So on today's menu by Chef Nathan, we are making my classic scrambled eggs on toast. Now, I eat eggs and toast almost every single day. It is healthy, it's nutritious, and it tastes pretty good. Yeah, we are gonna get chopping away. While I eat my breakfast, I like to hit two birds with one stone. So as I'm getting my nutrients for the day, I also like to get a little bit of work done. So usually in the morning, I will be doing some admin tasks, like responding to your comments, replying to emails, that kind of stuff. Nothing too intense, but just a good way to get the productive day started. So I'll be continuing eating my breakfast and replying to emails and comments until around 10 o'clock and that officially wraps up my morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm so glad you decided to come spend the morning with me. I know that mornings are not for everyone. However, I do think that there's something so beautiful and refreshing about the start of a new day. I hope this video inspired you, maybe gave you some strategies or some tips that you can implement into your morning routine. If you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down what your morning routine is like. Are you even a morning person or are you more of a night owl? Is that a hint for maybe a nighttime routine coming soon? If you wanna see more content from me, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification as well as follow me on Instagram for day-to-day -day content at nathan.woo. But that's it for me and I will see you friends in the next video. Bye. Missing someone